Hopefully this microphone is uh, right up to where my mouth is and people can hear me. But either way, um, today we have a distant saw. Uh, I'm going to look up this medallion later on um, once I get upstairs after this initial um, initial uh, breaking down of this thing and, and just seeing how... how um, where we are with the saw. Um, I think the process of this thing is pretty straightforward. That's just like my last last restoration on the hand saw is basically take the handle off, um, take all the uh, the lacquer of this off, uh, and then after that put a um, put a layer of um, of um, put two coats of um, boil and seed oil on it. And then after that, uh, put a clear coat on here. Um, and then after that, this will also be uh, cleaned out thoroughly. Uh, well, speaking of cleaning out that, <coughs> get my gloves on so that I don't get oil all over myself. That's a small little leverage. So, on closer inspection, you can see. Let's see. Where's the camera pointing at? You can see that this has a small little crack right here. I what I intend to do is I got some uh, glue syringes. I'm going to inject some glue in here, and then clamp them back together so that this thing. You can see the. It's a minor crack, so eventually it will crack through here and this thing will fall off and that would be a really bad thing uh, the rest of them is in pretty good shape you get a lot of missing lacqueries uh, but you know for the age this is understandable so and then for the blade itself the blade is in pretty good shape uh, I can still see the distant edging over here a little bit. The AC is uh, the either eight or or double zero is still on here. The marking. So let me get some steel wool and start working on this a little bit. So I'm using a WD-40, nothing special. So we are back after long scrubbing and everything else. I'm ready to take a picture of, of this. I did the front and back cleaned it really well. Uh, all the rusts are gone. Um, once again, I use WD-40 to do this while I am scrubbing it. So therefore, I don't really need to put anything else as a rust preventing agent because the oil is a rust preventing agent. Uh, so technically, this should be fine uh, unless it get water rained on or whatnot or if it get used on a some green wood, then this would be um, would be in trouble. But well, maybe not because that's probably stainless steel. But what I want to do is let's zoom in a little bit. Oh, the the glare is pretty bad. Uh, you know what? 
Maybe I should do this. Okay. Wonder if I can see the the edging of distant on here. Um, maybe not. But I can see it with my eyes, so therefore, hopefully, this is good enough. <laughs> um, moving on to the handle. The handle is slightly, slightly different process. Cleaning up my work area. So I have to be extra gentle with this, um, with this handle because the handle is actually cracked. Uh, so I may actually take a break here and do the handle another time. Um, Yeah, might, might as well. Let's let's do a quick a quick um cleaning of this thing. I want to probably get closer so I can see it. So you can see the the crud and everything else. <coughs> um, the way I do this is usually I always use a card scraper, and then um, graduated to a P80. This is I think it's I think it's, no 150, 150 sandpaper, and then go up from 150 to 240, and then from 240 I'll jump up to 600. The good thing is most of the most of the uh, lacquer, the old lacquer is already worn off. So you can hear the, the sound difference when I hit lacquer versus just you know years of uh, of of sweat using this which give us this nice patina color. So, um, the patina color is being removed, but it will be replaced with um, boiled linseed oil. And boiled linseed oil does give it a very nice, deep, uh, dark, dark color as well. So, it should mimic the, uh, the old color. So, so far, this has been done. So, I think it's like three days later, or three days since. I worked on this <coughs> and I had my vaccine today, my second dose. Um, I glue the crack and I had used the, um, I had used the card scraper 
and scraped off the um, the um, the squeezed out glue and now uh, this thing is pretty secure and I also put the car scraper in the middle here to um, to get all of these squeeze out in in between so therefore the blade should slide back in here very easily so my last step uh, step right now is um, really smoothed out because I use a pretty rough rough sanding on here so now I'm in the final step I am using 600 grit sandpaper um, on this and All right, I think that's, that's good for now. Do you even need to turn on the pellet stove? So why do you, why do you need to turn it off the pellet stove? As I was saying before, you can see that the rich darkness came right back as soon as I applied the, the boil in seed. It's one of my favorite finish. Uh, it's a good protection. Let the let the wood soak on it, soak it in, and it's natural, uh, non um, it's non toxic and. So see how nice that comes out and I don't worry about the I don't worry about like any kind of print any hand prints or anything because what I do is I kind of I let it hang with a with a hanger and it will it will smooth out on its own the the oil will smooth out and and everything else for the rag that I'm using, I don't ever uh, crumble it up or throw it into confined space. I let it hang like I am drying clothes, like as if I'm drying clothes, because you need to allow it to fully air dry. Otherwise, uh, the BLO, as it's drying, can catch on fire. Uh, so, see, that's how I dry my cloth, and this is how I hang and dry the 
the hand, uh, the, the handle. And let me turn on the light so that we can see this thing in better lighting because I, the way I'm seeing it, it looks just beautiful. The, the handle is a really rich dark color. Really, really rich dark color. So let me take this thing off of the of the camera. So you can see. See that dark color? Nice. See the shininess from it? So, it'll be probably about two days before I come back. And, um, well, this tonight I will come back. And what I will do is um, make sure any kind of drippage over here and over here, I'll clean it up a little bit so that it won't form any kind of drippage um, so that it will be nice and smooth and then um, apply a second coat and then tomorrow uh, not tomorrow um, after the second coat I'm gonna also let it hang and dry like this again and once the second coat is done um, I'm gonna spray clear coat the clear coat that I'm spraying will be um, Kremlin clear coat max. Uh, this stuff I spray on almost everything to seal up. This is the stuff that I spray on. So we'll almost there and then after that we'll assemble and the store is uh, the the store is done and then moving on to the other two things. <laughs>